Hi, I'm Keith McCoy with Solution Self Chem. Got this wooden fence back here. Uh, we'd like to protect that wooden fence from uh, mold, mildew, wood decay, uh, from insects uh, that would, might destroy it, such as termites, carpenter ants. Uh, we can use a product called Timbor. This product uh, is mixes with water, it's a wettable powder. It contains uh, disodium octaborate tetrahydrate. Uh, it's produced by Nysis Corporation. We can use this product, uh, it's a pound and a half bag, mixes to one gallon of water, that'll give us a 15% solution. And we'll take this product and we'll just spray to the point of wet onto the fenced area. You wanna make sure you spray wood, certainly, uh, and make sure that it's nude wood. That's wood that doesn't have any type of finish on it. So if it's painted, uh, got a polyurethane finish on it, uh, then that would have to be addressed or you can't use the product at all in that, in that situation. Um, I would suggest that you probably go in and use a low pressure uh, pressure washer and clean your fence up first. Get all the mold mildew off of it that you can. Uh, don't put too much pressure on it because you certainly don't want to splinter the fence uh, which would ruin the aesthetics of the fence. So uh, just low pressure is fine. Just clean it up a little bit. Let that dry. Uh, then mix up your product in a pail, uh, maybe a five gallon bucket. Uh, you want to use a paddle bit uh, into a half inch or three eighths inch drill and mix that up until it has the consistency of water. Then you can transfer that over into a pump sprayer and then you can begin your application. Um, if for shrubs, flowering plants, uh, and things like that, flower beds that are close by, you might want to uh, drape those with a piece of plastic or a sheet just to protect those during the application process. Give me just a second, we're gonna mix some up and we're gonna go to spraying. Okay, we've mixed our product, we're ready to spray. Um, I like to use a backpack sprayer. To me, it's a lot more convenient. It's a lot easier to handle instead of lugging around a one or a two gallon uh, sprayer. Uh, so this is just a lot easier for me. I just uh, fill it up, throw it on my back, I'm ready to go. Uh, so we've got our product mixed up and so uh, we're gonna go ahead and pick up where we left off on our spraying. Again, we're gonna make a nice even coat of product to the and spray to the point of wet. It is important uh, that uh, we Use low pressure, hold your nozzle as close to the uh, surface as possible to avoid as much drift as possible. Again, this product is going to help control uh, the mold and mildew that grows on our fence. Uh, it also will help control any kind of wood destroying insects such as termites or carpenter ants, uh, beetles, anything like that. Uh, we're going to continue on here uh, until we've completed their entire fence. We've got about a 60 foot run here to do and uh, I'll be right back with you. And we're almost complete with our 60 foot run of fence. Not only did we spray the pickets, but we also made sure that we sprayed all of our uh, support boards uh, so that they're protected as well. Uh, again, we use the product called Timbor. It's a great product. Not only can it be used like on these fences, but it can be used on any kind of wooden structure. Uh, it's also a very popular product to use on pre-construction of homes. Uh, and commercial buildings uh, to spray your sole plates and also the wooden studs uh, in the structure uh, to protect them. Um, for more tips, advice, contact our 800 number or contact one of our five locations. I'm Keith McCoy with Solution Self Kim. Ask us how, then do it yourself.